Hey everybody, Justin Cener here, making this video to show you this cool little hack or add-on, whatever you want to call it, for your Shopify store. And this is definitely something that can boost your conversion rate. And uh, this is all about adding the Google autocomplete function to basically any address um, input inside of Shopify. And obviously the most common one is going to be shipping and billing information. And autocomplete, I'm going to show you what it is, right? We're over here on a test Shopify store right here, just one of my little test stores. We're going to add a product to our cart. Go ahead and view the cart, and we'll now check out. And uh, what what would happen on Google autocomplete addresses, you'd come over here, and let's say you're typing in like 123 uh, Main Street, right? I've already done this, but how about 1234 Main Street? If that's a real address, right? Uh, let's say in, uh, I don't know, Los Angeles, California, it would start popping up options underneath, right? And I'll show you when we're done, you'll actually see. Uh, once we implement some code hacks to our Shopify theme, we're going to have literally an autocomplete box come up here. It's going to say powered by Google and it will give you all the actual real addresses. So first of all, this will help you in terms of confirming addresses to make sure they don't enter any incorrect address because they're going to have to select one from the list. And it will also speed up the checkout process, thus increasing conversion rate. So we're going to jump right into it right now. All right, so we're over here on the Google APIs page. And uh, we're going to go ahead and click create to create a new project. And then we're going to go ahead and name our project. So name it Shopify Autocomplete 1. Doesn't matter what you name it. And just go over here. All right, we'll create it. And we basically just need to grab a couple things from here. Uh, for example, I'm just going to go through here, but we need to get the API information. And we're going to first enable the API once this kind of loads in here. But uh, we'll give it a second. It should be on our dashboard. There we go. So enable API. Okay, and then we're looking for the Google Places one. Uh, Google Places for our, uh, I guess, for web service. Here we go. Google Places API web service is what we want to search for. So we're going to come over here and we're going to enable this one. And we'll click the uh, play button up here to enable it. Okay. Now that that's enabled, the next thing that we need to do is actually enable Google Maps JavaScript API. Okay, this is a second API that we need to basically turn on. So coming back here, enable API, JavaScript API, enable it. And don't worry if you have no idea what API is, basically advanced programming interface or something like that. It's basically a way for just multiple systems to talk to each other through code. And we're just basically setting up the keys, the API keys to allow that to happen. Okay, so we're going back to the dashboard. We're gonna first find uh, the Google Places API. Uh, here we go, Google Places API. And we need to actually create those API keys, create the actual credentials. Right over here, this blue button, create credentials. And we're gonna then see, uh, clicking over here, what credentials do I need? We're gonna get the credentials here, API key. Okay, we're just gonna copy this, put it into a notepad document or, or just somewhere so we can come back to it in a couple seconds. We'll click done over here. Next thing we need to do is actually go ahead and take that API key that we originally created and actually paste it in to this block of code. Okay, this is a little bit of code work that we need to do right now. And we're going to go ahead and where we see this little section over here, your API key. And I want to give a shout out to conversionpirate.com. I'm using their code to implement this. We're going to come over here and just simply paste in our uh, uh, API key that we just generated. Okay, so now that we have this, we're going to take this all and we're going to copy this little bit of code. And now we need to go back into Shopify. Okay, so inside Shopify, I'm just inside my online store preferences section. You should already have Google Analytics installed over here. And now we're going to come over and click this add custom JavaScript box right over here. And you might have other scripts in there. You're going to have to make sure that the, uh, you know, all these scripts play nice. So make sure you test this if you have other stuff in here. But we're going to come over and just paste in the code that we had previously edited with that copy and paste AP key, API key in it and save. Okay, and that's really all you should need to do inside of Shopify. So let's go test this. Okay, so let's test it out. Open up an incognito window and just go back to this product page. We could add it to cart. Okay, view the cart, come over here. We'll now check out, right? And we could put in anything here in the checkout. The point is to get to the next part. So go to test email, test person, and let's start typing in. See, it already pops up, right? Google autocomplete address is now popped up. Let's say you wanted to send it to the White House, 
right? 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Actually, there's a lot of them. <laughs> you can see, but it will come up, right? There you go, right? Auto complete address is on here. This is going to increase conversion rate. It's going to uh, increase accuracy, so people can't really uh, make typos on here, right? They actually have to go and select their address to have it on here. Going to make things more accurate again. Increase conversion rate because they're going to be able to move quicker. See, it fills all the other fields just like that. Then you'll be able to move on into the shipping information afterwards. So really easy. I mean, you know, it is a little bit of code, but nothing to be intimidated by. You're basically just copy and pasting some things. So uh, pretty easy to get started. Test this out. And, uh, you know, again, this should increase conversion rate for sure. You can find the instructions on my blog, justinsener.com. Again, shout out to Conversion Pirate. And there were a couple other people I think that were mentioned on uh, their blog post as well. Uh, to get this implemented. So check it out, get it in there into your store, and I hope this helps you make money.